Did you know Brazil holds the key to unlocking its economic resurgence? Let's delve into its journey and unravel the mysteries behind its potential comeback. Welcome to Wixplore, your passport to the world's wonders. Hello Wixplorers! Curious about Brazil's economic renaissance? In this video, we're unraveling the mysteries behind Brazil's potential comeback. Let's delve into the economic possibilities and explore whether Brazil is poised for a resurgence. Don't miss out! Hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel for more insightful content. Let's dive in! 20 years ago, Brazil emerged as a promising contender on the global economic stage. It garnered recognition as one of the world's burgeoning economic forces, boasting a robust annual growth rate exceeding 5%. Fueled by a burgeoning population and abundant natural resources, Brazil appeared poised to assume a pivotal role in shaping the global economic landscape. However, despite these favorable indicators, Brazil's anticipated ascent to economic prominence never materialized. Over the past decade, its economic growth stagnated, culminating in its exclusion from the ranks of the world's top 10 economies. Instead of serving as an economic powerhouse, Brazil has garnered recent attention for its tumultuous internal affairs, marked by chaos, corruption, and stagnation. The question arises, what factors contributed to Brazil's failure to achieve economic superpower status? Despite its status as the largest and most populous nation in Latin America, Brazil has historically struggled to attain economic dominance. Throughout much of the 20th century, Brazil grappled with familiar challenges plaguing its regional counterparts, political instability, fiscal mismanagement, and soaring inflation rates. Notably, Brazil's economic trajectory trailed behind that of Mexico until 2005, despite possessing double the population size. Rather than emerging as a formidable economic force, Brazil found itself mirroring the economic woes of Argentina, perennially teetering on the brink of hyperinflation and financial collapse. As the 20th century drew to a close, specifically in the early 1990s, Brazil found itself engulfed in yet another financial crisis, stemming from its imprudent economic policies. A surge of hyperinflation swept through the nation, relegating Brazil to the status of just another South American country that fell short of fulfilling its economic potential. However, a pivotal shift occurred. After exhausting all other avenues, Brazil resolved to embark on a journey of maturity. In the mid-90s, it committed to a series of economically sound reforms and policies. These initiatives entailed stringent restrictions on government spending, curbing inflation, privatizing state industries, and embracing foreign investments. The dividends of these reforms became evident swiftly. In 2001, Goldman Sachs heralded Brazil as one of four developing nations poised to exert significant influence on the global economy alongside Russia, China, and India. Subsequently, upon recognizing Brazil's newfound governance sensibility, investments poured into the country. Over the decade spanning from 2000 to 2012, Brazil emerged as one of the world's fastest-growing economies, boasting an average growth rate exceeding 5%. By 2006, it had ascended to become the largest economy in Latin America, followed by attaining the status of the world's sixth-largest economy in 2010, surpassing the United Kingdom. Projections by the consulting firm PwC even suggested that Brazil would surpass France within a mere three years, securing a position among the top five largest economies. A decade into the new millennium, Brazil appeared poised to replicate its economic miracle, continuing its upward trajectory. However, this optimistic outlook swiftly unraveled. Just five years later, in 2016, Brazil assumed the role of host for the Olympic Games, echoing China's previous hosting eight years prior. This momentous occasion was intended to serve as the pinnacle, affirming Brazil's ascent among global heavyweights. Yet, 
Starkly contrasting this narrative, the reality on the ground painted a grim picture. Mere weeks before the commencement of the Olympics, Rio de Janeiro declared a state of financial distress as the city found itself depleted of funds, unable to remunerate the police or firemen responsible for event security. Instead of commemorating the occasion, thousands took to the streets in protest against Brazil's hosting of the Games, contending that the nation could ill afford such an endeavor. Their concerns were not unfounded. By then, instead of surpassing Western economies as anticipated, Brazil found itself mired in its worst recession in decades, characterized by record high unemployment and a surge in poverty. But how did this come to pass? Brazil's ascendancy in the preceding decade was predominantly propelled by two key factors. The export of commodities such as sugar, iron ore, and soybeans, and the influx of foreign capital enticed by the financially prudent governance prevalent in the country. However, the trajectory of commodity prices, which had been on an upward trajectory for over a decade, reached a zenith in 2011, thereafter plummeting. This abrupt reversal laid bare the reality that Brazil's ostensibly promising economy hinged solely on the exportation of rudimentary commodities and profited from their escalating prices. Consequently, when demand waned, it became starkly apparent that Brazil's economic repertoire was limited, and its growth was contingent upon the sustained ascent of global commodity prices. Compounding this predicament was the response of Brazil's political leadership. Rather than implementing austerity measures in response to the challenging economic climate, President Dilma Rousseff adopted a contrary approach, escalating government expenditures. She augmented the already relatively generous welfare state by enhancing pensions, reducing taxes, and introducing novel social programs. These profligate spending practices exacerbated Brazil's financial strain, leading the country to expand funds beyond its means at a juncture when its economic momentum was faltering. Consequently, public debt and inflation began to escalate rapidly, prompting a downgrade in Brazil's credit rating. This downgrade signaled to credit rating agencies that Brazil was no longer deemed economically responsible or a secure destination for investment. Consequently, the influx of foreign investments, which had served as another pillar driving Brazil's economic growth, dwindled. The ramifications were profound, precipitating a substantial blow to the country's economy. Unemployment surged, necessitating cuts to social programs that Brazil could no longer sustain, resulting in an uptick in poverty rates. Compounding these challenges, Brazil's once promising reputation as a swiftly developing nation suffered a severe blow. The country became synonymous with corruption scandals and a progressively unstable political landscape. In 2014, Brazil was rocked by its largest corruption scandal to date, known as Operation Car Wash. What commenced as a minor money laundering probe unraveled into a colossal corruption scheme, implicating Brazilian congressmen, senators, ministers, and even presidents in embezzling vast sums from state-owned enterprises. Amidst mounting discontent with the government's management, Jair Bolsonaro, also known as the Brazilian Trump, secured victory in the 2018 presidential elections. His ascension to power ushered in a period of heightened political turmoil, further dissuading foreign investors from re-engaging with the country. However, what lies ahead for Brazil and its prospects of reclaiming its former status as an emerging economic powerhouse? While the possibility exists, the path forward is fraught with challenges. On one hand, the global landscape has once again shifted favorably towards Brazil. There is a resurgence in demand for commodities, political instability appears to have abated, albeit temporarily, and the nation is refocusing on prudent economic policies. Notably, this summer marked the first upgrade in Brazil's credit rating since 2018. Unlike a decade ago, Brazil now presents itself as a more enticing prospect for foreign investors. With China's escalating hostility towards foreign entities and aggressive foreign policies, 
Brazil emerges as a comparatively stable alternative. Thus, prospects for renewed economic growth appear promising. However, the pace of recovery has been sluggish, with Brazil lagging behind other developing economies such as India or Indonesia. Moreover, the underlying issues that precipitated the economic crisis a decade ago persist. Brazil's growth remains heavily reliant on commodity exports, underscoring the need for diversification into more advanced industries and sectors. Moreover, bureaucratic inefficiencies and dysfunctional management persist, compounded by lingering systematic corruption. To assert itself as a significant player in the global economy, Brazil must undergo substantial structural reforms to fundamentally alter its operational framework. This entails ensuring that economic progress is sustainable over the long run, rather than fleeting. While the potential for Brazil to achieve substantial growth exists, the path forward remains uncertain. As we conclude our exploration of Brazil's economic journey, remember, the path to resurgence is fraught with challenges, but the potential for transformation is immense. What are your thoughts on Brazil's future? Share your insights in the comments below. And for more captivating content, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring!